So this is the Q6000 fuel dilution meter. Um, and the way that it works is it uses a surface acoustic wave sensor to detect the amount of fuel present in the headspace um, over an oil sample. And so you have the sample vial, which sits in the, in the sample chamber, and you have fangs, which pierce the cap and sample the headspace to determine um, how much fuel is in the headspace and relate that back to how much fuel was in your sample. So on the screen you have three buttons. The first is setup, the second is calibrate, and the third is measure. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is calibrate the instrument and you're going to want to calibrate with um, the specific blend and type of oil that you're using in your samples and your blend of fuel. So I have a 5% diesel sample diesel standard here, and I'm going to prepare a sample vial. So we use graduated disposable transfer pipe heads, and each mark is 0.25 mils. I need about a half mil to put in my sample vial. The amount of volume is not critically important, so I'm going to fill it about to the line and then I'm going to slowly dispense it onto the felt pad. And I'm going to be careful not to get um, any liquid on the side of the vial or touch my pipette tip to the pad. So I'm going to cap my vial and I need to let it sit to equilibrate for about a minute. So while it's equilibrating, I'm going to go to the instrument and set and push the calibrate button. Calibrate. Select fuel type. And this is a model 6001, so I have three calibration slots which I can choose from. I'm going to calibrate in the first slot for diesel. Calibrating. Diesel. Enter fuel concentration. And then I'm going to enter in the concentration of my standard. So my standard is 5.0%. So I would use the um, plus and minus keys to enter in my concentration. Insert Push file. next. Then close lid. So now it's been about a minute, so I can go ahead and run my sample. I'm going to insert the vial, and I'm going to close the lid. And I'm going to push it hard so that I punch the cap of the vial. Then I'm going to push it in. So now it goes. Analysis takes about a minute and a half. So whether you're um, running a calibration standard or measuring an unknown sample, it takes about a minute and a half. Sampling headspace. The new vial. So it's a calibration successful. So I push the arrow key and it reminds me which calibration slot I put it into, the concentration that I put in, and it asks me to remove the vial. So I'm going to remove the vial, close the lid, and then push next. Purging in light. So now it's purging so that it's ready for the next sample. So now I'm going to measure an unknown sample. I'm going to take my sample vial, my unknown sample, and again I'm going to use a graduated transfer pipette and draw up.
about a half mil of sample and slowly dispense it onto the felt pad. I'm going to cap the vial and let it sit for about a minute. And while I let it sit, I can push the measure button. Measuring. Select fuel type. And so now I'm choosing my calibration slot. Again, this is the model 6001. The 6000 will only have one calibration slot, but here I have my choice of three. So I previously calibrated in diesel. Measuring. So I'm going to push the diesel, diesel button. Enter sample identifier or press arrow to proceed. And on this screen, I can enter in a sample ID. So I can push the edit button. And using a stylus, I can enter in um, a sample identifier and a counter. So I can reset the counter to one, and then every test that I do after that uh, will automatically iterate. So once I have my identifying information in, I can push insert the next vial. button. Then close lid. So I'm going to insert my vial. It's been about a minute. I'm going to close the lid. And then I'm going to push next. Preparing headspace. Sampling headspace. <laughs> Measurement complete. Remove vial. So here it shows me my result and my sample ID and tells me to remove the vial. So I'm going to take the vial out and then push the next button. Purging in land. And then it just purges and goes back to the main screen.